slay you, slay him first. That's not Kahana, that's Judaism. And indeed, that is logic. My son served in Lebanon in artillery. And he received orders that they were not to give fire cover to the infantry if the infantry was attacking PLO positions in villages, lest they kill innocent women and children. Do you know how many Jewish soldiers died because of that insane order? Do you know how many Jewish soldiers had to go in under sniper fire with no cover? That is ethics and morality? That is insanity. When I serve in the, in the army, I want my CO to first and foremost think about me and not the enemy. Innocent civilians? Were there innocent civilians in Hamburg, Germany, in Berlin, in Dresden, in Essen, when the Allied bombers bombed those cities? Did anyone stop and say, you can't bomb those cities because there are innocent people there? We were fighting a war against an enemy which, had he won, would have plunged the free world into a nightmare. Well, we face an enemy now in Israel that if it wins, turn the pogroms of the 1920s and 1930s in Palestine to something far more horrible than that. There is no compromise here. If the Arabs wish a Palestine state, let them create it in Jordan or anywhere else. But not my country. If the Arabs have 22 countries, may they live and be well. We have one country, the only one, and it will live. The world is happy about it, it's happy. And if it's not happy, it is not happy. Final word about terror. 